So I've got Job's Tears, which is, um, it's a grain. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's kind of in, almost in the corn family. A lot of like the misconception is that it's barley. It's not barley at all. Um, it's it's got like a, a sweetness to it, like like corn would, and almost so like a, a kind of a nutty thing. Um, but there's not a lot of flavor really going. It's just like it's it's just a plain grain. We've always added them to stuff. Like you make a stew, you add it to it, or you make soup, you add that to it. Uh, but this was it, we like we did something with like grilled squid and like a Job's tear to bully or so, something like that. Like I I, I can't really remember. This is basically just sesame seed, a little bit of sugar. It's kind of the start of a spice kit. This is a little baking soda. Um, this would be uh, cumin, uh, nutmeg, coriander, black pepper. Uh, there's a little bit of dashi powder too. Um, it's like the instant uh, soup based stuff. It just gives like an umami thing. Um, yeah, garlic, jalapeno, cilantro, parsley, scallion. Uh, I, think that's, I think that's really it. So what I ended up making was uh, falafel, but I, I thought it might work because they are gluten-free, so it wouldn't be like super chewy, um, and it ended up work coming out. I mean, it, falafel already has there's so much, so many ingredients in it. It just this this gives it interesting texture. Is that a typical way of getting a robo poop? I don't know, you do this, you do it long enough and you just start messing with stuff. And then this is just the sesame seed and a little bit of dashi powder. I just don't want to get it all, all broken up. Oh, waffle waffle is so gross. <laughs> Pretend. So we get these in fresh every day from uh, PQB, but we generally get them in and then we leave them out all day to proof. They've been here for about an hour, so they're like a little underproof, but like I said, we're just going to pretend. And we kind of go for like a medium grill. We don't like them, um, like to get it like ripping crispy and it just comes dry and like a cracker, kind of like the supple pita, you know. Um, so just a little bit of shaved cucumber, um, and then this is just uh, pickled Fresno chili. There's a little cumin and coriander in it, salt, sugar, rice wine vinegar, scallion, mint, and then this is that tzatziki I was talking about. It's like sour cream, uh, a little bit of butter, uh, lebna. Oh, I think we're I think we're good. I think we did it. Some pita there. Like regular uh, wildflower honey, but we steep in like a little bit of espalette and like fennel seed, and then to be honest, we just thin it out with tapatio, like hot sauce. It's pretty good though. There's nothing like crazy on it, you know? Like I, I know that falafel and like yogurt and pita taste good. Screw it. It's not so much the flavor, it's the crust. It's the, like you can see, little like white piece of jokesters like that. It's, it's more the texture um, that changes than anything. Um, I don't know, chickpea's not really known for all the flavor it packs either, so. Okay. Uh, I chose Ben Lusbader, he's the chef over at Giants, and uh, he's gonna get smoked dulce, which uh, it's, uh, it's a smoked seaweed.